Hi everyone, this is Fergie with Fergie3D, just doing an Ender 2 update. If you remember before, the fan wasn't working on the uh, hot end, and because of that, the prints were horrible. Uh, nothing would work, the filament would back up into the Bowdoin tube, cut off the flow of filament, and then after 15 or 20 layers, it would just completely die. This happened over and over until... I noticed the fan wasn't working in the video. Of course, I have a couple different pictures going at once. So not hearing fan noise from the Ender 2 is kind of understandable because the Creality was going, the CR-10 was going. When I discovered that the fan wasn't working, of course, I ordered them on Amazon. And then I remembered that I had this 14-volt fan. Uh, that I'd taken out of something else. Instead of 12 volts, it was 14 volts. But I did use duct tape, and I did attach it to the front of the unit. And it wasn't bad, but it cooled down too much. It was a little bit too powerful. And because of that, the layers and everything uh, didn't melt together the way I expected them to. I think it cooled the parts too quickly, and the quality wasn't very good at all. Now, good news for me, um, Amazon does deliver on Sunday. So we got this on Sunday. Quickly put it in. As you can see, I still need to clean up some of the wires. But I was in a hurry to get a print. Now, I did print out one of these Santa gnomes that I saw on Nerdy's website. By the way, I do want to uh, thank Nerdy. He's been working with me every step of the way and um, helped narrow down the size of the fans I needed. So kudos to him. So I printed this Santa gnome. I got it on Thingverse. I think it's actually called Santa's Helper. I checked Santa's gnome and there was nothing there. It took about six hours on medium to print out. There's no infill. Uh, there were no supports. And I did use four layers on the walls to make sure that it was nice and solid instead of something like a vase. And guys, it turned out amazing. As you look at this, you can't see any of the layers. Layers It's completely smooth to the touch. It almost looks like it's been um, injection molded. It's so nice. Uh, there's no stringing. There's no globs. There's no pimples. Um, I did have something here. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Then I have to fix it a little bit, but that's... Not really a big deal. But the amazing thing is, this is ready to paint without any sanding, no priming. I could just paint it Santa red um, with the black boots uh, right away, which is pretty incredible. Look at the detail on this. Is that amazing or what? So now I see why Nerdies says that he gets Ender quality prints. Whenever he um, like reviews any kind of printer, He'll say it's not quite an Ender print or this is Ender quality print because the Ender 2, for a little bit more than $200, is giving me a better print than my uh, CR-10. Unbelievable. So I just wanted to update you with uh, what we did with the Ender 2, how we got it going, the quality of prints we're getting, which just blows me away. So I'm looking forward to using this quite a bit on high detail prints that I want to use in figurines and leave the CR-10 for something big and and bossy. I can't imagine, because this is on medium, 0.2, if I went to 0.1 with fine, what this would look like. I mean, it would probably look like Santa's gnome is ready to walk off the build plate, for gosh sakes. So that was my update for the Ender 2. Couldn't be happier. Looking forward to using a lot of it uh, pretty soon. Thank you for tuning in for this update to the Ender 2. And you guys have a great day.